Alrighty, welcome back. We've, we're gracious to have Aiden in the house today. He's coming to help us. Uh, we got the fender on, um, and I ground down the welds a little bit. I got a little bit of welding done. Uh, right here where the tail light is, I'm going to leave. There was a, a suggestion there. I said you might French them, and I might. See, when I take a little, uh, when you French them, you would make that shape, and you would shove it inside the fender. And if I shoved it inside that fender, when I could weld it along that side and that side, so I'm just going to leave it for now. But we got the fender on. We have to make this piece here going all the way along there. Uh, where Aiden is in the house today, I have these patterns, or this pattern here. And this pattern here goes inside the B pillar back to the wheel well. So I want to get these in, and then we can open the doors and finish inside the door. So I'm going to get Aiden. I'm going to get Aiden to make these, and that way there he can help me B roll them, and I can show him what we're doing. And uh, basically that's about what we're going to do. We're going to open the trunk of it, the trunk lid, open that up. We'll get on the inside and we'll put these in and we can open the door. But I'm going to give this to Aiden first. I want to show him exactly what I want. And then I'm going to get him to go for it. And I'm going to try to make some little strips and put some strips in on top of the fender here. Like I said, I was going to, to finish that off. Uh, on the bottom, Aiden was looking, looking the work over, taking, you know, taking notes, I guess, looking her over. Oh, yeah. But on the bottom of this, on this fender, I didn't finish anything here, but I finished it last night after the video went down. Um, and he was looking, Aiden was looking at it. And basically all I did is shoved a piece of paper up in there, just like that. Took my marker. Get straight note paper. Sometimes paper's hard to deal with. Just took my marker, went along like this. That was my shape, if you know what I'm trying to say. And then I just took my marker. I know I want my wheel lip probably an inch thick or a little better, and I just mimicked. The piece that I drew on. Cut like that. Cut that piece out. Slid it up underneath there, but welded it along this edge, and then I have my edge down at the bottom. Pretty basic shit. But, I mean, if you're not doing it all the time, um, that's basically what I did there. I just put that on there like that, trace the outside, mimic that shape to the, to the inside, and then that was my piece. Worked out perfect. So we're actually welded all on there. It's nice and solid. We got the back all welded up nice and solid. We just ground these where I about weld that together. We got the fender welded on. We didn't get that ground off yet, but it's looking really good. It's on there very strong. Also, we were thinking about this morning while Aiden was here, we we're going to do the wheel opening, but I drastically need a rim and a tire on. I can cut this piece off, but I will not know the perfect outline of the wheel until I get the wheel on. So basically, I have to get a rim for the, for the tire and get it put on. It'd be nice to get that done today. It'd be nice if we can find something, but we have to get the a rim on the or tire on the rim, cut this piece off so we can get the wheel on, and then we'll go along and we'll scribe it to the wheel so it looks exactly like the wheel. We want it, we want it to make it look like that. Um, also, we'll, just, we'll we'll take off and we're going to do this. Um, the shears are broken, or the electric snips, the little kettle snips. Mm -hmm. I broke the the ear off them by mistake. Um, what's going on here? I'm going to make one or show Aiden one, and then I'll get him to make the other one. Basically, what happens is I always say start with the straight edge. I mean, the straight edge is on the top, the longest straight edge, the straight edge of the metals on this side. You can see where it's cut down there. Um, I need to, I want you to take a look here for a sec, Aiden. I've got, you can see on that one over there on the top of the door post yeah. where the piece is going in there. I've got a half inch bend going in. Yes. Okay. Okay. And that's for strength. You know, if I had a, a straight piece of metal going, how strong is it? Mm -hmm. Not very strong. Not like really. you can bend it, you can push it, you can whatever. With, when I, when I put a half inch on the top of it and bend it over, pretty hard to bend. Yeah. Like it, you really have to, you'd have to jump on it or kick it or whatever. I guess that's why they call that a kick pan. But there's a half inch lip bent on the top. When I made the pattern for the wheel well in the back, mm -hmm. I just made the pattern going straight from the post to the wheel well. 
Okay. So I got this shape here, the wheel well, and I've got it going to the post. That's all I've got. Okay. So basically what I'm going to tell you is, is I want a half inch like that bent yeah. over. So it gives it strength. Yeah. And we're going to bend the half inch bend going towards the quarter panel. And on the bottom, um, if I go from the post to the wheel well, I'm going to have a hole there. I don't know, for collecting change or something, lint or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But So what I'm going to do is, is I t I'm going to make it bigger than it needs to be. I'm going to say it's from the distance from the post to the floor. So we're going to add four inches on the bottom of it okay. so you can get it. Four inches. Okay. So basically this is what I'm going to show you. I'll get you to cut them out and stuff. How's that? Hopefully we can get two. Hopefully. Huh. Huh. Hopefully we can get two. So I'll go this way. I'll go this way. Can I, we can get two. We might have to go this way, Aiden. We might have to go this way. Against the cut edge. I can. That's the cut edge. I can take it and shear it. Probably, di probably take it down and go to the shear shear it off and then that'll be a nice straight edge and then we can get one this way and then we can get another one I think okay. all right that's what I'm gonna do because if I go this way I'm not gonna get four see I need I want a half inch on the top because yeah. I have to add that there's a half inch there and I want to add four inches on the bottom and I'm not gonna get it with that there no that's quarter. not four inches and then I'm not gonna get if I mark that right there I'm not gonna get the second one. Uh, Yeah, I'm not going to, if I move that ahead so I can get four inches here, let's mark that there, see if I can get it. Cannot get it, going to have to get them this way. We can do it. I'm just going to, let's go take this to the shear. Just going to shear this off so we got a straight edge at the top. You can see where I bummered it up there. So I'm just going to take, make a line. And I'm just hoping that the shear makes it straight. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. The shear will make it straight. As long as I've got two points to go by, the shear will make it straight. And when we're, when we're done, as that's sitting there, this is crown undercoating. That's what we use. They use penetrant. I use their penetrant. I use their undercoating. I use most of everything. Uh, we've got to thank Bill LeDrew. He dropped it off, but they're very kind to us. Crown penetrant. They drop it off all the time. We use it. They're undercoating. So if you have something that you think you should undercoat, which is your car, that's what we use. So you know all the little holes in the bottom of your doors. You get little, yeah. when, you, when you open your doors, you get little holes in there because there's water goes in there. That's where the water drains out and the quarter panels and all that stuff. Yeah. Take that stuff, spraying all the holes, right? And that way there, you have penetrant inside your doors. So you know how to work this thing, do you, Aiden? Mm, no. Probably not heavy enough. What? Don't think Come so. Come take a look. All right. Okay, see, can you see down in between here? Yes. See that line down there? See that little line? Yep. That's, that's our shear line. And see, can you see the line? Come up here and see this one up here? Look. Just no, down. just go in there and take a look. See how it's in there? Gotcha. Yeah. Straight on that edge. Yep. And also, basically, this shear is not the best. Believe it or not, I haven't got the best shear. Um, what? <laughs> Believe it or not, I haven't. Um, Lori Layton was kind enough to sell this to me from the mountain. Um, someone bringing his junk. He sold it to me for $75. That's not, not bad. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? That's <laughs> actually awesome. But anyways, I like to start it closer to this end because this is where the blade comes down first. You can see this is good for trimming toenails and fingernails and metal. You can see how it starts there, right? First. Um, okay, and then comes down. And we're on the line. Just like that. Do not put your feet underneath that when you jump on it, because you will break your foot. Yes. Let's do this again. So now we got a straight edge to start with. We want, I, I generally, I don't know why I do that, but I generally just guess. And the reason I guess is because it's fun. Come, come take a look. Mm -hmm. 
See how I've got that? That look, that look good to you? Yes. I'm going to mark it then. Didn't mean to throw that away, but I'm going to mark it. Now, this wants to be straight, right? Because that's bent over. This is my angle. If I angled it, if I took it up and put it up that way, it wouldn't fit the wheel well no more. When I bent it down, it would, you know what I mean? Have a little. Yeah. Out, yeah. This piece here would go out like this. And when I bent it over, that piece would stick out and hit the wheel well. Then you'd end up bringing it out and cutting it off. So I want this shape. This is the shape of the, the wheel well in the back. Okay. This is the shape of the post. Hard to believe. Um, this is the bottom of the piece that we're making. And then we want it four inches. I'm going to get a measuring tape. Measuring tape right there. Anywhere as close, Aiden, that you see. Uh, yep. Awesome. I'm just going to mark that right along there. What the hay? That's your half inch piece. We'll do four inch. Give me four inches, will you? This is what I like to do on this sort of stuff, is where you have that little piece on there. Yeah. Start it on the two. You get right on that line. Okay, and then go from there. Hold that there, please. So we get a two, and then we're going to go, that's four. Get my glasses on. Just makes it sometimes easier to make sure that we're we're going the two. You want to hold that there for me, back? I know it's a two-man job, but hold it around that line, and then there. Alrighty. Now, uh, what am I thinking? On the post, I'm I'm gonna. I don't know what's going to go on when it hits the post. This is going down the post. I think I'm going to draw it on straight. I'm going to add some to it. Generally, you would go down like that, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, this here is going to go down. We're going to go straight. And we're going to get a, a ruler and trace that off. So this will be bent that way, mm -hmm. going towards the quarter panel. And this will be bent this way, coming towards the floor. Uh, we're going to put a... Uh, huh, we're going to bead roll it. We're going to step it back just like we did the rest of it. I'm going to show you. And then, okay. then you've got the, then you got the next one all on your own. We'll make this one and then we'll have it ready to get in. Then you can make the next one on your own and I'll jump on to doing this sort of stuff. Uh, I want a ruler. And I'm hoping we have enough pieces, enough metal to make another one. I'm hoping. If not, well, that means we have to fork out some more money to buy another piece of metal. You gain money? Mm, didn't really. <laughs> How about gas money? Gas money? That's enough. Yeah, by now. Gee. <laughs> huh? All righty. Hoping that we'll get that down in there. It's going to be close, isn't it? So we get that a little bit. Half inch. Boy, it's going to be close. Boys and girls, it's going to be close. Yeah, I think we will. But that's why we did it that way. So, uh, you got the cover to the thing. Let's cut this bad boy out. How are we going to cut that out? That sh little shear's broke. Um, I got my other metal shears. I just don't like that it bends. I got these ones. You can get new teeth for those, just probably like that one, but. Why is that hooked up like that, I wonder? Come out, come out, wherever you are. No, it's got a good set of teeth on it. Not like me, I got a bad set of teeth. <laughs> Someday, baby, we'll get me, set, get me a new set, get me a new grill, won't we? Huh? I'll get a new grill, maybe someday. You can get nice teeth. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shear that off because that's straight. Mm -hmm. I can see the line. I'll shear that off, and then we'll cut that with, with these. Or we can even cut it with the... Let's go to the shear. <clears throat> I'm going to have to manhandle this thing for a second. We're going to put it over as far as we can, Aiden, to this side, right? Yep. I, I stress that because that's the only way that thing really works nice. Is, so I'm going to try to put that on that line. 
And basically what I'm doing is I can't see down through, so I'm gonna have to, I'm lining it up with this blade. See this oh. blade here? So that's what I'm lining it up with. Okay. I don't want to cut it off there, do I? Or it'll be too short. Yeah. Four inches too short. So there I'm gonna line that one up. I'm just, I'm just going to put it down and see if it is even close to the line. Are we on the line, Aiden, you think? Bye. Can you see? Look good to you. Are you happy with it? I'm happy with it. Good. <clears throat> yeah, we can do that with that, can't we? We can do that. Let's do that. We'll do this with it. You know, you know how to do that. I'm going to do it anyways. The hell. Good things. You can do it. I know you can. Okay. I want that line. All the way down. And that line. Okay. If you need a hand, let me know. I'll get over. I'm just going to trace out another one. I'll get you, maybe get you do some bead rolling this morning if you want. Put you on the spot. Some bead rolling. Oh. Yeah, put you on the spot. Actually, I'm just going to wait. Actually. I wouldn't do that. I mean, yes, I would. Do, do, do. Where that takes you. One. That's a funny look. I think I'm going to go four inches, but look. One, two, three. That's four inches. Huh? Damn near got me, didn't it? quick here what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this one out these are going to be exactly the same I'm not sure if they're exactly the same I only made one pattern for one side so I'm just going to mark this out and we're going to just leave this one here for a minute we're going to try one first and then, and then see what happens but it's right there if we need it and only thing we need length on is the length or shorten or whatever to make it work right I think it should be fine but we'll see Oh, you got her pony, yeah? Oh, she's going. Yeah. And then I'll get the brake ready. Actually, we're going to bead roll it first, so. Um, we'll do that first. I'll get the tape. I'm going to keep it the same on everything. Everything we've been doing <clears throat> on the bead rolling side of it, we've been just using the two inch tape and going around the outside of the panel and uh, going on, just going around, uh, around the outside edge. And it seems to be working out fine. He's got to hold his tongue the right way. Give him a close up. <laughs> right on. All right, I want to trim that off just a little bit there. I'm we'll just do that with the feather wheel, my glasses. And it don't have to, but I'm going to. So if you go off the line a little bit like that, 
Another wheel. Other than that, beautiful. We'll bead roll it first, and the reason being is, if we don't bead roll it first, then we can't get it, if we bend, bend, bend these up, can't and bend that down, I can't get it through the bead roller. Gotcha. I've made that mistake okay. um, a few times. Alrighty, so we're saying that this is going on this side. So basically everything we've been doing, whatever side we can see is the side that we're taping and doing the bead roll. So we're gonna turn it over. So I'm gonna say that this, uh, this is fitting this side. This is wheel well, mm -hmm. uh, this is floor. Um, I got a marker here. Just gonna transfer the mark on this side here so I know both sides. I'm gonna transfer this mark so I know both sides. And the reason being is you're going to have to bend one one way and one the other way. We've got marks on both one, one side, but when you bend the other way, we're not going to have marks on the other side. So I'm just looking on this side. So come see, look, I'm just doing this. Putting that mark on this side to match up with that one. So, it goes right over. so when, we, when, we, uh, when we take it out and bend it, we're going to bend this side. We're going to put this side in here and, and bend it up, mm -hmm. whatever side that we're putting it on. So this is, this is the side that we're putting on. This is the wheel well. This is going on this side. Yep. So we're going to bead roll the face of it. Like that's why I'm doing that. But this side here is going to have to be bent in this way. So we're actually going to lay it in the brake this way and bend and it up. The other side up. This side's going the other way. So we'll lay this one in this way. Get our marks. And we bend it up the other way. Okay. Right on? Cool. Yeah. Awesome. He's a quick learner. <laughs> I have to do that to myself. I have to talk it over myself too. You know what I mean? Like you really do have to talk it over with yourself sometimes to really know exactly what you're doing. Um, just, just um, making the pattern and reminding myself to put the half inch on the top um, is, is just one form of something I have to talk myself through. So I'm just putting tape from this edge, from this edge, from the lines I just put on there. And the reason being is that's going to give me my distance all the way around for the bead roller. Okay. So um, mm -hmm. I'm just doing this. I'm following this outside edge, following the outside edge all the way around. So when we use the bead roller, that's the line we're going to follow. Okay. That's what I've done to all the floor, um, everything. And now that we got that, we, we're not going to make corners of the bead roller. I just take this, set that in there. You know what I mean? And all I'm going to do is, look, see that distance there? Yep. All I'm going to do is, when I go to that corner, I'm just, just going to eye it up and make the same thing. No measure, no nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I Looks like the same distance to me. When we get it done, you look at me and tell me if it's different. <laughs> is, you know what I mean? It's, it's pretty hard, right? Mm -hmm. That's a little different corner going on there. That's fine. That's fine. So, this is the. Do you want? Do you want to run the bead roller? Or you want me to run it? Uh, you can go for the first all right. one. How's that? All right. <laughs> all right. So what we're going to do is what I'm going to do is let's go in here and do it. So this is the face that we're going on on here. So this is the post here. This is the wheel well that's sitting up against there like that. We might have to trim it some, but that's holding it some, but that's how it goes. Um, this is going towards the floor. That's going in towards the car. This is for strength. And this is to finish off the floor and putting that in that bead roll in there. Um, I'm thinking it's a good place for insulation. So if you insulated the car, um, you can get insulation and you could put you could cut it and you could fit it right in there and then the panel would be flush when you put carpet on it you put anything on it it would be flush okay flush alrighty you're going to do the magic arm thing on that okay Joel you're not upset he's taking your job right <laughs> <laughs> she 
not upset, baby. No. <laughs> not this morning. All right. Let's just go go slow. We're going to just take off. And uh, I want I want to go this way. So. So. You're going the right way. Okay. Look at that now. He remembers to do an easy. Gee. Man, I'm not going to be used to this. You can go a little bit faster. And the reason I say that, because it's, in, it's inside the car. Once the carpet goes down, it's over. You know what I'm trying to tell you? It's all behind it. Yeah. We'll just, when we get to the corners, you can just slow up a little bit. Go ahead. Wander around there, yeah. Beautiful you are, Jolene. Beautiful. Beautiful. Slow her up just a bit. Go for it. Don't breathe. funny on us because we're around the corner. All right, the second. Go ahead. Keep going. Cutter. Cutter's the last thing that goes on. Gutter. Yep, gutter. When you finish your house, the last thing you put on is gutter. Thank Gutter's you. the last thing you put on. Alrighty. We'll peel this off. Good control on that one. So what I'm saying is as we make that, it'd be a good place to put your insulation in there. And, you know, your insulation is usually an eighth or so, and it's basically drop down about an eighth. Uh, that went very well. Now, let's go over to break, Aiden. So, um, we want the panels going on this way. So, we want this top piece going that way. So, we're going to put it in the brake. You can leave one side down. That side's down. This side can come up. I'm just going to place it in here. Sometimes, it doesn't bend the best, but I'm on my line. Just put that down, lock it down, okay. uh, and we're going to go 90s just straight up. It's good enough. <clears throat> I say that's good enough, and then we get that for strength. And you try to bend that now, like you know what I mean? No uh, you, look, you can bend that no problem, oh. but you're not going to bend that. And if you want to do, if you do want to bend that, just go to the shrinker stretcher, the shrinker and the stretcher, okay. put them teeth on it, and then we'll okay. do that trick again. So we're in that way. And we're going to bring this one out this way. So we're going to put it in this side. See why I made that mark? Yes, yeah, so you can see on this side. I would have had to transfer it. I would have had to stop. I did not want to stop. Um, on this one here, uh, the four pan. <coughs> we're just going to go up. Sometimes it's best not to do a full 90. So I'm saying that's going to fit in there on the floor. Um, Let's, let's take a look. I'm going to bust this off. I'm just going to open that. Bum, 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 bum. Generally why I like to weld things shut, because when you're welding things up, things will move. And if you weld them shut, 
generally they'll stay where they're supposed to stay when you're done. I got some rain gutter to put in here today. So we got this is all rotted off here. And we'll just weld the rain gutter on, the, on this piece and then up. And then we'll match it up with this stuff. It's kind of whatever. Um, all right, 80 miles to get in there. Okay. <laughs> I'll slide him in there as me. <laughs> just roll right across the top there. Perfect. Going on that side. I'm just going to go from the window and take a look. Now, go to the post. So now we're going to have to cut some, take a look at the, I'm going to actually, yeah. The, see, how, see how the, I'm going to get in there with you, to be honest with you. I'm going to give you a marker, because you're going to understand what's going on. That's the way it's going to be. You can come in from the windows. Okay. This, see how the floor is curling up here? Yeah. Um, I, I didn't allow for that. I kind of just kind of um, did what I wanted to do. See, can you tell me what's going on for that not to fit? Uh, it's hitting this post here. Perfect. So you're going to make a line on. No. Okay. Just go ahead. You make your line. No. You don't want the post. You want to cut metal of the piece we just made. We just made this piece. Yeah. You want to cut it? You want to cut that tab out? Just slide that. Uh, so you want to cut this or this? I want to cut the new piece. The new piece to this. So you want to cut there. So it'll go by, and then you want to cut. Where else? No, I don't think you want to cut there. But just taking take a look at this. Take that. No, nope. I just cut that ta tab off. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Right here. And go straight that way. Right here. Yeah. And that way there, when we set that in there like that, so that's going to fit in there now. Is, it, is there enough to be cut off? Is there enough cut off there? Yep. Now I'll take there. And down there. And then I'm laying flush. Yep, that should do. I'm, I'm going to want you to stay right where you're at because we're going to, I mean, we're going to do a little bit more. I'll, I'll cut it. That's the basics of something like that. Um, we'll, we'll cut that little bit, and then we'll try it again. Right. And then we'll, fig then we'll figure a little bit more after that one. So I'm going to be your gopher. <laughs> What's the noise a gopher makes? Don't know. That's not a zip cut. That's not a zip cut. See, that's the fun stuff right there, Aiden. What, uh, you know, uh, to me, that's the fun, fun stuff that makes making something is making it work. Hmm. We can make the piece. But then there's still more work to make it work. You know what I'm tr trying to say? Yeah, you can yeah. make a simple piece. And you have to make the right decision to make it work. If you would have cut the post, to me, that would have been the wrong decision. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And unless you do it, you don't know. So basically, that's good. That's good. That, you know, we discussed that and went over that. and drawing good lines to make it work if you know what i'm trying to tell you you can see you can see up on the front one up on the front post on the a pillar yeah. i'm a little bit shy like i left there's an eighth in there before you know what i mean okay. it's not exactly tight yeah. did not worry about it as long as it fit in there but now is look at that now would you huh now you, now you're happy aren't you yeah um see how we have <clears throat> fits all along here nice does it not mm -hmm. or are we going nice along the floor like it see this see this how um, the, the, the opening of this see how we're okay. we're, not, we're not straight along there do you know what I mean yeah this like, kind of goes out more yeah more like we got we got um, we'd like to put that in so it's so what's holding What's making us not be able to put that? Like, uh, I really don't want to go over top of that where we've got that bead rolled. Yeah. So we want to cut some of this off. We don't need as much as we thought we did. Um, that's going in there. Can, okay, can you see this happening? It's getting pushed out on this side. Yes. By the square yeah. piece that we put in. So what, 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 what do you want to suggest to, to do that, get that in there? Mm. How about if you made a mark what if you made a mark on the top 
and we cut some out of the new piece and slid it in. Like the same thing with this. Yeah. So okay. if we did that, so you have to make the right call on that if you know what I'm trying to tell you. So you, you trace it off the top. There. Yeah. So what do I have to cut out? I have to cut chunk of that where yeah. it comes out here. How how mark mark on your on your mark on the piece going up here on the angle iron. Not on the new piece. Mark on the new piece. Trace off where this piece is lying on the angle iron. On here. Nope. See how we got the angle iron going here. Yeah. This piece is on the front of it. Mm -hmm. If we trace a line up the front of it, when we pull this away, we're going to know the distance we need to cut out of this. Do distance, you know what I'm saying? Like. Here, that, yeah. Distance. Exactly. Okay. So mark the top. Just mark the top of it there. It'll give it a little better mark, so we know we can go past it. Okay. And now mark. No, nope, mark. Fall, trace this piece on the angle iron. This piece. Yep. Oh, okay. There you go. Straight up. I want you to trace it straight up. There you go. Perfect. Now you're talking. Now when we pull this away. See, see what we got going on there? That's where it lies. So that it needs to go in. So basically, bring your marker over. See, bring your marker over here. See that? See how the distance on top of that, and it's not the straight. Yeah. Can you mimic that? Like for me, I would to mimic that. I would go into the corner. Looks like that. It looks like that, doesn't it? Yeah, because it comes in. Yeah, exactly. So all I'm doing is mimicking what's going on there. Does that, that make sense? Yes, it does. Cool. And so then take that chunk out and then slip. We're hoping. That. We're hoping. It might, we might have to take some out of this down here, but um, we'll be able to weld this to the to the edge of that, okay. so it fits up good to the post. Hold this for a second. I'm gotcha. going to cut a little bit out of that. It might not work yet, but I'll be back. I'll be back. Yes, to, to want to know where something is, just you trace it. So if you were putting a piece on a car mm -hmm. and you wanted to cut something off it, and you're, yeah, just trace it there and then you'll know. Basically, when I put a patch on the side of a car, mm -hmm. um, for me for, to know where I'm going to weld it on and where I want to clean it, I'll put the patch on the side of the car. Take a black marker, trace it. Then I know where to clean off the paint. Okay, yeah, get yeah. It right on the edge. And then I can tack it on. Then you can cut it and and uh, butt weld it on. You can overlap it on. You can make a flange. You can do whatever you want. Cool. All right. Finish it off for us or not, but that's what we're doing. Looking better? Better. Yeah. Now, now, what, what I can say, at least now you can bend that piece in, can you not? Yep, you can bend it around. Or, that fitting up there, or do I take more off it? Or you could take more off it on the corner, you mean? Well, would you like, me, would you like to see me take more off so it's not all overlapped on that piece? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. On the, see, we cut the bottom out. We cut that that shape out. Yeah. What if we cut more shape out to fit the the angle iron going? On the floor piece. Yeah. Right? If we cut that, then it really set in there, would it not? Yeah, it would. Okay. Trace it. On the, hold that down tight if you can, so you can get a true read. Now we're going to transfer that over to this piece that we're doing. Yeah. So can part. you can you transfer that over with your magical eyes? <laughs> he give me the he give me the Jimbo smile laugh. He, 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 he. Okay, now, are you too much or just Definitely. enough? Maybe like a bit much. Okay, I'm so you're a bit much. Mm -hmm. Make it smaller. I know. You do whatever you think it needs to be, and then then you pass on the. The, the ends of the detail, you say, well, don't cut on the other side line like you, you know what I'm saying? That cool there? I think Is so. that better to you? Yeah. Awesome. Good job. What's this, what's this job called that you're doing? What's that called? Do you know? No. You're scribing it. Scribing, okay. Yeah, so like, um, I guess the first time I heard the word scribing is when you put kitchen cupboards in a house. Sometimes it's crooked. You've got to scribe it.
Um, when I was actually a young fellow, there was a guy across the road, the Goodwins, uh, they built boats. Okay. And everything they built in a boat, they had to scribe it. You know, and nothing in a boat is straight or square, so everything was scribed. Now, if, if it does not fit perfectly, and there's a gap, how would you weld it up? Um, coat hanger, maybe? Coat hanger, yeah. Right on. You know, so what I'm saying is don't stress anything if there's, you know, if you've got a bit of a gap going on, you just go back to that old trick of the coat hanger or something, you know what I mean? Like, exactly, so don't ever stress anything. How's that feel? Oh, good? Yeah. Oh man, you're doing good. Let's get that out of there. Now I'm gonna put that. I want that to fit back there better. So that's fitting okay. I think you can hammer that down. Or can you push that down? Does it fit all right? Fit pretty good. Fits all right. Not bad. Yeah. Okay, good. So at least you can make it work. And then and then there you can hammer that to get that in there a little this bit. Yeah. yeah. Like I mean, that can bend the edge over a little bit. Like let's get real. Um, now what I'm thinking is, if I want to put that over here. Can you push that top in? Now we got that like that. Let's let's take let's take see how this is covering this line here a little bit. Yeah. We know we've got that much there. So what I'm going to do is let's mark it so it goes straight with this line, just so it looks neat. Okay. If you know what I mean. We're going to have to bend it right here. So we'll push that down. We'll weld it, and then we'll just give it a little bend there. Just push it down. It's, it's a brace, so um, we're doing fine. It fits up in here all right, does it not? Yeah. Okay, good. Good, good. Whole wheat shreddies. Um, let's make, see this line right here? Yeah. Okay. Let's take some off this. Let's take half of this off, but I want you to go with this line. Do you know what I'm trying to tell you? Yeah. So sure. what I want you to do is I want you to straighten it up with your eye. I want you to, give me the marker here. I want to go right there. I just want to go that far on top of that. I don't need to go all the way over there gotcha. for that to cover that and make that look like poop. Mm -hmm. So I want you to take the same distance from the edge here to there and do the exact same thing over there. You can see the edge. You see the edge of the square stock? Look down right down in here, but where your things I'll show you. Break my legs off. Nice. <laughs> 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 Alright. What I'm saying is, you can't see, can you? Um, I can take a little more off that, can I? A little bit of cornering? Yeah. You trace that off. See, see that where it's hitting that weld? Right here. Nope. You take. See how it's hitting that weld right there? You, you've got it right on. But we'll just take more off. Oh uh, yeah. More off there. And then we'll get you right down by there, and that thing will fit like a piece of, like it always was supposed to fit. Just a little bit more there. You know what I mean? Gotcha. That's what I would do. I would just take a little more off. And then I'll just sit in. That'll sit in there, nice. Maybe take a little more off that. Now, what I'm wanting, you see that square stock? There's square stock right there. Oh, so I'm wanting you to go in from, I did, the, I, I did this distance. See that distance from the corner where it's welded? Yeah. Right, I want you to do the exact same distance. From? Yeah, the, from that edge. And you can see if I cut if I cut this back further, you'd be able to see it, but what if we went like that? That gives me. Let's, let's pull this up. All right, it's in there so tight that I can't pull it up. Mm -hmm. How about, how about I take a little bit more off this, get a little bit more off this, and then you can see that edge, and then we'll try it again. Okay. And then see we'll make it. It's, it's worth it to make a, and I'm just going to take and make my line down here further. It's worth it. And then we'll be able to sit, and then you'll be able to see your square stock, and then we'll do the exact same distance from there to there. And that's why I like eyeing things up, because, you know, to get a tape measure, and to measure tape that and um, try to make it exactly the same when you can look at it and say, that looks good enough to me. Like, I mean, Actually, you know, unless you're else. all crooked eyed and, and you can't see the same. It's just practicing, um, practicing shapes and measurements with your eye. Mm -hmm. um, people, every, every, generally, if you work with wrenches all the time, you know five eighths from your half inch and your seven sixteenths from your 
3H, you know just by looking at it. So basically, that's what I've done. I look at it, and I can see that the difference is the same, or whatever. You know what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, training the eye. Train the eye. That's what I wanted to say, train the eye. That's the exact word I was trying to say, train the eye. Should be our, I don't say last and final trip, but we'll see. Train the eye, he says. Now, are you, push your panel in there? Is it still going in there now, is it? A little bit more off the corner. A little bit off the corner. Remind yourself, it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it in the end. <laughs> yep, it's worth it. Now, basically what I'm thinking is, we want to we want to keep, see how to see the distance between the post and the quarter panel? Yeah. yeah. Is this somewhere the same? So train your eye. Yeah, take your finger and try it. Just take your finger and do the exact same thing. Piece of piss. Out a little bit, in a little bit, why? Uh, this side's a little bit out. Like so you want to motor this way a little bit? Yeah. All right, you hold yours in. See the distance I've got from there? From there to the to that, yeah. You give me the same distance on that end. Can you see the can you see down past that piece now? And see your, your Yeah, it ends right here. Okay, well we got it looks like a pretty good pretty good distance then, doesn't it? Yeah. Good. Let's cut it off. I'm gonna cut it off, man. And I will be back. Not with a vengeance, but with a patch. I'm gonna see if I can cut it off in the shear. Hopefully I can. Oh, I think he can. I'm like the little train that could. I think I can. Or. Ah. Get on the right side of this bad boy. And if it's crooked or anything at all, we'll straighten it. rolled like that, it didn't put a piece in the center, you'd lay on it, it gets flat. Now, what we're gonna do here is, see now we can get it, now we can make it straight with this piece. It doesn't matter a whole bunch, to be honest, it doesn't matter a whole bunch, but it does to a person that's trying to, you know, when you're trying to make something half decent look good and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So basically, what I'm thinking is, you're tight in down there on your post, are you not, at the bottom? Yeah. So basically what I would say, this is how I would put this piece in. I would tack where it's tight on the po on that angle iron. Yep, I'd tack where it's tight in there, in there and just tack on the corner. Then I would go in and push that down, make that fit there. And then I would make sure that this line here is straight with this. And I'd push that down, use your third arm or hit it with the... You can, push, you can push it down with the third arm if you want to. Then I push that down to make that straight. And then I would come up here. I would tack your top. Here. Yeah, make sure that's nice and tight. And then you can, do, you can use a pair of C clamps or whatever. Clamp it and, and put a spot on it. And then I'd take your finger and I'd measure your distance from there to there. 
and I take your finger and measure the distance from there to there, or it might even be, it might be different because the wheel well is different, but make this look straight for your eye. Gotcha. So basically, let's, let's do it together. I'm going to give, give you a C-clamp. I'm going to hand in the welder. I'm going to give you your helmet. I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to take you right through the process. Okay. What, why not? Well, I mean, let's face it. I think we're, we're on a good thing right now, learning how to do that. Here's your helmet. Gotcha. I got a C-clamp over here. I'm just going to grab a small C-clamp because if you grab a big one, you're not going to get in on that post. If you know what I'm trying to tell you, don't have to. Don't. I wouldn't do the post first. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Um, just a minute. Let's, let's think it over. Let's think it over. Yeah, I would tack it down that corner first. Um, get that bottom line running right first because you can always clamp the top. Yeah. Um, down over the bottom where that little angle iron is, how you get, you, there's no way to clamp it in there, is there? No. No, you, not really. Um, where it's tight and looking halfways right, um, that's what I would do. Okay. Also, I want to, yeah, just a second here. Also, um, see where we got the metal going to the wheel well? Yeah. We could have bent a 90, put a 90 on that, and most cars, that's what most, that's what most cars do. Um, they have a 90, and then you drill a bunch of holes in it, and then you plug weld it. You know what plug weld means, do you? Um, yeah, we plug weld that. means when you drill a hole, and then you fill the hole full of weld. Um, I generally don't do that, and the reason I don't do that is because I've had them come off, and also, I can get that sweetheart. I've had them come off, or you can get it. I've had them come off. And I like, I find that if I'm doing seam sealer, I'm going to put it on top. If you're doing seam sealer, seam sealer is stuff that seams. Like when, when, when this is all done, um, you'd put seam sealer on this. Yeah. Okay, so basically, see how this is all spotted there? Normally, it's not like that. Normally, the piece goes over. This, this piece has a 90 going down. Yeah. This piece is going down, and then there's holes drilled in that 90, and then it's spot welded together. Okay. Okay? I like doing it like this because it's easier. Also, when I seam seal it, it the seam sealer gets in there and you can't get it out. Uh, when, it's when, it's, when it's just laid over, um, then your seam sealer is just laying there. So mm -hmm. if I take, if you take this piece and lay it down on the floor yeah. and spot it on the top, Actually, I'm going to do something. I'm going to cut some V's in it for you. Oh. Um, when, when you lay this down on top, um, your seam sealer is laying on top. When you push it in there, it's, you're, it's, a, it's a harder process to get it off than it is to lay seam sealer on top. It's I'm trying to justify else. my thoughts. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. But basically, most things are um, applied together, metal together, with a, with a spot weld together. So to imitate that with a MIG welder, what they do is they call plug welding. You drill a hole in it, and then you... Fill the hole full of weld and weld it to that piece. Uh, generally, I do not do that because I do this. Um, I'm going to make a couple V's in that. Do I sh ever show you how I did that? Do that? Uh, with the zip cut? Yep. I'm going to I'll just I'll give me your marker. I'm just going to do it by eye. Generally, I just, I'm just going like that, right? Just by eye. It's funner to do it by eye. No one tells you what to do. So I'm just going to go out there, I'm going to V them out, and then we'll be able to put them down on there. Okay? It'll just be a second. Bear with me, old brother. Bear with me. You got, you got a pair, I'll get your pair of gloves. <laughs> thank you, thank you. No problem. Well, so you opened it, didn't you? Well done, Jolene. Jolene's way ahead of us. Uh, I'm going to V this out first, and then I'll turn that on. I'm going to give you a third arm.
Now, I cut some of them V's fairly, fairly big. What I'm going to tell you is, um, when you start your welder up, <clears throat> mm -hmm. and if you're, you know, if it burns through on you at all, uh, let, let, the, let the orange go away, and then hit it again. Okay. Okay? That's what I'm going to tell you. Jolene knows. Alrighty, man. Let's, let's, let's put this panel in. Basically, what you want to do is you want to get it all fitting first. So you're in there, uh, you're fitting at the top. Um, we got the same. We got the distance at the bottom that we want. Remember, we got the same sort of distance. We want the. We want this. All right. Actually, let's get that tight. You might as well nail that right in the corner. Make sure it's in there tight. Push. Take your stick and push it in if you have to. Do whatever you have to do to make it tight. You need a light. Does that help? Let's just a minute. I'll get you. I'll get you a light. I'd make the sound of a gopher, but I don't know what he does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get one of them little lights. We have to thank Zip. You know, we still we're still using the tools, man. We're still using the zip tools. Zippity doo da, zippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Zippity doo da, zippity a. All right, let's get that corner. Uh, you can you can weld that corner without even doing anything, can't you? Like you can put that corner in there, um, just like that. Can you not spot it in the corner? Just spot it right there. Right in the, top right in the corner. Yep, spotter. Gonna hold. All yeah. right, gonna hold, man. All right, we're not on our thing anymore. See how far we're off that now? Yeah. But that's okay. That's okay. Now. Gap in there, that's fine. That's seam sealer, but you can weld that. Let's take a um, your clamps. Let's do this. Let's put this down. Get your third arm. Let's 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 knock this down. We can always pry that back. Start right at start right at your end. And you want to get right beside that. You can just put it right on that tip if you want to. Right on that corner if you want to. But I want you to get it down tight. Yep. Put it underneath your arm, maybe. Maybe get up on your knees. Get up on your knees. Don't know if you're going to get it that way on an angle, but you probably will. There you go. Push that down tight and put it right on the corner on that. On that. Yep, exactly. Now, you got it? Yeah. I want you to realize something. Mm -hmm. Now you're not moving it. Because there's two of them. Right, because there's two yeah. of them. Also, when something is something to think about and I never thought about it but something to think about yeah. is that when you're tacking something on um you you can you can cut that off yeah try not to tack things on right at the beginning where you can't get your grinder get it off it Small. just it just, all it does is make you mad <laughs> I'm tell, you i've done it many late. many times <laughs> all right let's let's put our c-clamp on the top Let's get the C-clamp. Yep, yeah, so we get that tied in there tight. We want to put it right on the post, and so you can tack that. You, want to you, got, your, you got your clamp tight, so, you, so it's going to hold. You know, you're clamping two pieces. No, squeeze it together. Yeah, you're, gonna, you're clamping it together. You got two pieces of metal, so you might as well just go all the way tight. All the way tight. There you go. Now you know you're going to have a clamp. Now make sure the clamp's in the way, so you, do, you can spot, put a spot of weld on it. Right on, brother. Tighten right. Put a put a spot on that. Right at the middle. Where you, where, wherever you think you can get it off. I think you're good though. Go for it. Right in the middle, be fine. Yep. Cool. Gonna hold. Think so. All right. Now, let's. This looks this this looks good, doesn't it? Doesn't it along the, along the floor? That looks good. Looks pretty even. Looks pretty even. They call that even Steven. Okay, now, do you like this line that's going back? Do you want it a little bit? What, do you, what would you like? Yeah. Let's try there. Well, let's put a spot of weld right there. Top corner? Top corner. They call that hot and hockey, top shelf. It's 
pretty yeah it's holding so you'll be able to weld that no problem down there let me see that it's got a gap in there do you yeah that's fine you can weld that so now um basically what what the job is is to apply it on there um, we're don't generally weld it all the way to, we're going to weld it all the way down the post because you can yeah yeah because you can we're going to spot this going down here like this that far apart give, give i want you to weld the top completely there's a gap there i'll wow. grab you a coat hanger you can weld it you don't even need a coat hanger but what i'd like to see is do where's your marker basically if you have to draw them on it's fine but basically i'd like you to get some spots of welds that look basically whatever um, you know where you're going to weld these up at because yeah. they're right there and you're going to have to get them down tight that means you're going to have to get your arm down there and come on to her if you need a hammer i will get you a hammer uh, make sure you push that in tight before you weld that down the post make sure that's all tight um, uh, i'm going to get you a hammer because you're going to want to you're going to want to pound that down there i don't want you to bruise this metal up but you're allowed to pound the edge with the with the pick hammer you know about the pick if you get the round one like i mean it's got a beveled edge to it but if you try to start beating down with the round edge you're going to put a dent in the metal okay. so you turn it over to the pick side and it's only got you know you got a little bit of allowance there you can pick that and the easiest way to get that down is to attach this first mm -hmm. and that'll hold it and then it'll go down do you know what I mean? Yes. Um, don't try to pound something if you haven't got something to hold it. You know what I mean? Uh, we actually did the fender that way last night. Uh, the fender didn't fit good right about here somewhere. Um, and what I did is, is I welded it when the camera went down, had it welded. Then when I went on the underneath side, and then I pounded the fender up and it really fit good. So, you're, you're, you're set to rock and roll, man. You're, you're putting in the panel. And this side, full weld? All this too, um, like the post or just spot. How about let's how about let's spot it all the way in. Let's okay. get it all spotted in. That way, there if you have to use a hammer at all, mm -hmm. um, you can. Um, but to get that down where you want to get it down, you're, make sure you get a good spot of weld on the top. You just got little tiny tacks on there right now. To be honest with you, yeah. Um, get a good spot of weld, and then we'll go along there and beat that down. So what basically what I want you to do, right? I'll show you. First, very first thing, that corner there. Get a good spot of weld right, right there on that corner, right there. Get a good spot of weld on that, and then we'll sh we'll do the we'll do the hammer. I'll get you a hammer and show you. Okay. Just get a nice spot of weld on that, and we'll show the trick how it works. If it was loose, if it was loose, all do all it's going to do for you is bounce up and down. If it's loose. Now, where, where you have that like that, watch. Right, watch right beside the well, watch. We come off up here, let's put this back on. Let's put this back on. Give a good, give a good shot of weld. Give a good shot. Remember, we got a grinder, we can grind it off. Now, see how, see how that pounds down? Now, that, this will all pound down too, watch. Now, when you weld something, you're only going to get an inch of good movement. So once you get it down, you pound that down about there, mm -hmm. put another good spot of weld on it, then you would, now, you're allowed to, now you're allowed to pound for another inch. So every spot, you get about an inch of hammer work. Okay. Make sure everything's tight before you weld it. Mm -hmm. And if it's not tight, going to the next one, you've got an inch with this thing to knock it down to get it tight. And if you can't, can't get it tight, grab that bad boy there and get on it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you free. I want, yeah, I want to see you weld this up, weld this top up here, and then you're, then you're good to go to get your spots in. Um, make sure you get a good, just put a good spot on it. Um, stay on it and make sure it's melted in, but get this top done. Get that top nailed down. Uh, you got that corner nailed down pretty decent. Maybe you can come around the corner Nail that on the floor right there. Good, and then you get all four corners. Then basically your your uh, job is to tighten everything down before you weld it. Uh, you're either going to use the th the third arm, or you're going to use the hammer right beside your weld and get an inch movement so you can get it tight. Then use your third arm. Gotcha. All right. All right. Whew, that was a lot of words.
What do you think? Are we going to keep on rocking and rolling? Oh. Right on. Yeah, nail each corner down. Wherever you got the corners, we got the weld, nail them down good so nothing moves. Okay. And once you get on the top of that 90 too, on the, on the wheel well, yep, get on there and spot that in and get that top welded in nice. And then you're allowed to start using the hammer and the whatever. I'm going to make the other piece. need a coat hanger it's there if you need it if you don't need it just spot it in and go for it okay do what makes you happy <laughs> no i'm sorry do what makes me happy <laughs> <laughs> And if you have any issues with anything, mm -hmm. call my name. Oh, okay. <laughs> Help service. Let's go for today. Oh, I'm tooting. Did you hear that, baby, on the old mic? The old toot? Toot. Me farting. That's what tooting is. Rooting, tooting, farting. So good. Jeez, I got all spoiled with that shear. I'm back to this. Old faithful. Oh, faithful. Tell me something, Aiden. Mm. We are overlapped on that post lots, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, good. Good. And you can see how that's going to make that strong, how that hold that post in place, can you not? Yeah, it's going to. Got this part now and the bottom. Right on, man. Cruising. 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 Going to transfer this to the other side like last time. Was that sweetheart? I should have, but I'm just going for it. 
Jolene just mentioned to me, she said, sweet, I'm going to add sweetheart. She didn't say sweetheart, but I'm going to add it. She said, sweetheart, she said, shouldn't you have tried that pattern on the other side? And I said, I should have, yes, I should have, but I'm just going with it. And sometimes that's what you got to do, man, just go with it. Just go with it. How you making out, Aiden? Doing good. You I making got, me happy? I got the corner done for you. All right. The corner's done for you. So I, I, I know right now, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Man, that ain't coming off. Nope. Nope. He's staying. All right. So I see what your, your, what your main issue now is, is try to get them, them ones down on the floor. Easy. Yeah. So basically, um, what I want you to do, see the one on the one, on the, one going towards the wheel well? You spot that very end right down on the, yep, mm -hmm. spot it right down on the very end there. We'll spot it down so it can't move. All right, now what I'm going to say is if you need to hammer anything or get it down there, it, it's not going to move on. You're going to have to stretch a little bit. Yeah. Try and twist your third arm and get your first one from the door post, B pillar. Try to put that right there on there and see if you can get that down. Go on, go on the other side, right beside the V. Try to put it underneath your armpit and just get that hum daddy sucker come right onto her and try to get her down, hard to the floor. Do not weld it unless it's hard down. If you need a hand to hold it down, I'll, I will come in. But you look like you get a hard down. And you only have to spot it once to hold it and then you can, you can hammer it to get it tight. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So as long as you get it spot, you know, held down tight, and get one good, make sure you get one good spot on it, and then you can hammer it. And okay. then you can make sure it's tight, and uh, then weld it. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a little bit of work to finesse it, but... Make sure you get a good spot. All right. Let off. Let me see. Fill it in. That's tight. Fill it in. Run it right over to the floor too, right? You know what I'm saying? So make sure it can't pop off. Like this way. Yes, exactly. Gotcha. You see? Perfect. Good. Perfect. Now go for your go for your second one. Right or run runner right along. That one. That yep. Go, go on. for it. Okay. Then you know you got her in place. Right on. You keep up the good work, I'll hire you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, please come back. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. I got to wait for Aiden to roll this. You got the computer up here, sweetheart? All right. I'm going to clean this off. Aiden? Yes? You having fun? Oh, every day. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. I'm around per cars. Perfect. Because Jim black. told me once you're not having fun, he said, get away from it. There was a car swap meet this morning, and we were going to go, but we just decided that there's work to do, you know, and basically, does Chad need another project? Probably not. On the hammer yet? Don't need the hammer. Ooh. Huh? You, he can adjust his light if he wants to. He can, you can, here, he's good. He's got a lot. He, he's, there we go. He's happier in the lark. That yep. one still down? 
That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Walter, Walter, yeah, you can weld the Walter up, man. That's good. Oh. Oh, it popped off on you. Yeah. Okay, so off. so is it is it welded there now? It's welded. Okay, so I'm going to pass you the zip cut. All right. And you're going to have to go underneath that. <clears throat> See what happens if you get something tacked. <clears throat> I'm going to explain something to you. Hmm. If you get something tacked and it's just tacked, mm -hmm. um, do not weld on top of it. And the reason being is because it's going to go to molten metal again. It's going to pop off. If there. you know what I'm trying to tell you. If there's pressure. So I'm going to give you that there. You're going to run that zip cut underneath that if you can and knock that weld off. So you can lay that damn flat. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Yeah. Go in there and just try not to scuff the metal up and, and try to do the surgeon job you need to do. Okay. Can you take the hammer and, and knock it down? We'll take the, or can you push it back down? We'll go back down? Mm. Or is it still tacked? It's still tacked. Oh, good for you. Can you knock it down now? Just put your put your third arm on. Yeah, try your hammer. See, see, see that'll take it down. Your third arm. See if it'll move. Not moving. No. Nope. All right. Take your hammer and knock it down. With peck part. Yeah. Just hit the edge. On the other side. Yeah. That's down tight, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, what I'm going to say now, if it's, you know, basically, <laughs> if, it, if it's up a little tiny bit, <coughs> take your grinder and shove it in there harder. Get in there. Right. You want a longer zip cut? Is that what we need? You got it, ain't you? Looks so. like you got it. Looks like yeah, it. Yeah, prior down, push down on her again. Tack her in one spot. You can hit it a little harder. Yeah, I just hit it a little harder. Get her down a little flatter. Yeah. Put your put your third arm on it. Weld it. Call it, call it a night. Say night night. Push down hard as you can. Yeah, and weld her up. Get a good spot on it. Keep her all the way around. Just weld it all up. All right, now where you spotted that. Now hit the hammer on the on the far going that way. Hit it on the edge and watch the metal come down. This one. Yep. Tighten it up, didn't it? Yeah. Right on. Now you can do the third arm on that piece. And it's, you're having a difficult there because the floor goes flat and then it goes up a little bit. And I didn't allow for that. I'm just applying the piece, okay, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. That, and then you got to push it down centered. You've got to try to hammer it down or push it down. So you can either try to hammer it down. So what you can do, <laughs> like I said, you can put your third arm on, try to get your next one, get it tight, spot it, and then hammer the rest down so it's flat. Okay. So it gets comes down, right? Yeah. So nail on that corner at that V, the closest corner. This one. Nope. nope. Right there. The next one. You're going to the next one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That one right there. Go on the other side, and get that get that close one. Get that down tight. Nail that V. Let, nail that corner on. And then go to the other corner and hammer it down. Weld that on. Weld it on good. All right. Now you can take your hammer. 
Hopefully you weld that on good enough because it won't pop off on you. Now you can knock that corner down, knock that down. Start on the other, start in the corner that's tight and bring it around to your weld and finish it off. Don't start right on top of that one because you'll loosen, take it off again, right? Yes. You want to start on your corner, you just tightened up and just fill the whole thing in. Yeah. Now you can take your hammer, knock the edge down, going towards the bigger, the next one. Yeah. Knock it down. Keep going. Take your hammer, knock it all the way down if you can, all the way up. All the way. Yep. <laughs> now you can push that corner down. Do the exact same trick. Knock, knock that corner down. Tack it, and then you can knock the rest down with a hammer. You got her, Pontiac. Make sure you make sure you knock that corner on good with the welder because you're, you're going to use the hammer, right? Yeah. Get a good spot on it. Cool. Okay. Yeah, just yeah, just trigger it. Come off. Now you can use your hammer and you can knock that all down so it's. Yep. All the way long. Might as well go all the way long. Make it tight. I also do the other corner on the other one, the last one. Just knock that corner down. Say, nope, don't weld it. Just hit it with the hammer. Should hold it. Get it tied up the other end. That's it. Come take a look, sweetheart. Come this side. Now you can see that you got it tight. Now you can just weld it up, right? Yeah. See what I mean by the welder? How it tightens, it holds while you hammer it. Yeah. So now and he's got it all down side. tight, huh. and he can weld that. And any time it starts burning back on you and burning the metal off, mm -hmm. you just let off to let the red go away and then go back in, back in again. And start it again. Right on. Good job. Perfect. Awesome. Looks good. Now you've got the spots going down. Um, yep, down there, and then we'll weld up the post and down the. Here too. We're gonna weld that up. Yes, we are. Okay. Yes, we are. And uh, what I'd like—I don't want no beads going on. I just want um, down along that wheel well, along going this way. Mm -hmm. That can be welded in like one spot, once like trigger it one, two, three, four, all the way along. You can trigger it all the way along there, okay. but just spot going up the wheel well, if you will. Okay. You know what I'm trying to tell you? Yep. Um, I don't think you need any air in there. I don't think you're going to get anything hot. Keep moving there. Go for it. You're doing a good job. Looks good. So, after probably to, tomorrow, we get this one in, and tomorrow's video, we'll be knocking the doors open. And, uh, yeah. Aiden, you probably aren't going to be here, are you? Probably See you. He didn't want to tell me he's not coming, but <laughs> he, he won't be here tomorrow. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, everybody. That's, that's it for today. Um, we're just going to continue on. I'm going to make the other piece. I showed you how I did it. Aiden's going to weld them in. And we're just going to continue on that way. Doing it together really worked out nice because he gets to learn and I get to be able to grow trust in him doing it by himself, basically. Uh, that's what's going on. Uh, but I've got the other piece ready to bead roll. Um, he's going to continue. Maybe I'm going to pull him out of there. I'm going to pull you out, Aiden. Okay. Because I want you to come help me bead roll this piece. And uh, then I'll send him back in. And uh, he can continue on that piece, and I can get this one bent and get it made for the other side while he's in there welding that one. I'll get him two, doing two jobs at once, and I can kind of go eat. Well, I won't go easy. No, I won't. Then I can take my, I'm going to take some cardboard or Bristol board, and I'm going to make all these little strips to go in there. And then when he's done welding that there, then he can come out and tack all them strips on. All right, everybody. See you later. Have a good one.